Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have to find the value of this double integration, uh, double integration of function f over s. So what is a given function? Let us write. We have. So our function is f of x y is equal to one upon root two y minus y square. Okay. So this is a given function. So let us consider this given region S. Okay, so what have they mentioned? S is a region in a first quadrant, which is bounded by this curve. Okay, so let us talk about that curve. Uh, and let me mention we have a curve x square is equal to four minus two i. So as you can see here, the power of x is two, power of y is one. If the power of one variable is two and the power of second variable is one, it represents a parabola. So here also it represents a parabola. So let us write it in its standard form. Okay. So x square is equal to what will I do? I will take two common. So uh, I will take minus also common. So minus. So here we will have y and here we will have minus two. If you solve the bracket, you will get same minus two y. Minus two into minus two plus four. Okay, so I have written the parabola given equation in its standard form. So let me mention this is a parabola. A parabola. See, this is a parabola. Power of y is one. That means the axis of symmetry is a y-axis since the power of y is one. As well as it has a minus sign, so that's why the axis of symmetry is particularly negative y-axis. This negative y-axis. That means the parabola opens in a downward direction. So let me mention a parabola opens in a downward direction. Okay, so I got a parabola. I got a parabola, right? See, after that, I have to draw that parabola in this diagram. Okay, so for that, what will I do? I'm going to put y is equal to zero. So let me do that rough work here. Putting y is equal to zero. Let us see what will happen if I put y is equal to zero. We will have the equation x square is equal to four. So let us take square root of both sides. So we'll have x is equal to plus minus two. That means when y is equal to zero, the value of x is either plus two and minus two. So in this way, we get a two points. The first point is two comma zero. X is two y zero, and the second point is. Minus two comma zero, x is minus two and y is zero. That means the given parabola passes through these two points. Similarly, I will do another rough work. So I am going to put x is equal to zero. Let us see what will happen if I put x is equal to zero. If I put x is equal to zero here, we will have four minus two y is equal to zero. Two y is equal to four. That means y is equal to two. So we got as next point that is zero comma two. It will be here. So this is the third point. So that means the given parabola passes through this point as well as these two points. Here we have clearly mentioned in opens in a downward direction. So now it's easy to draw the given parabola. Okay. So I got the parabola like this. So this is a given parabola. So let me mention the equation here. Its equation is x square is equal to four minus 2y, as well as they have clearly mentioned region in a first quadrant. That means the region the uh, bounded by this parabola, which is in first quadrant. That means obviously we get this region. Okay, so yes, the region we have got. So with the help of that, we have to find the limits of this integration. Then we can solve this integration easily. Let us see how to find the limits. So for that, we need to consider a strip. We have a two options in Cartesian coordinate. Either the strip is parallel to y-axis or the strip is parallel to x-axis. It's our choice. Okay, we can take strip parallel to y or x. But see, I have already solved this problem, and I observe that if I consider the strip parallel to y-axis, the problem is difficult. So that's why I'm going to consider a strip parallel to x-axis. Getting? So let us consider a strip parallel to x-axis. So let me mention here. This was my rough work. Let me. Remove this part. Okay. Okay. So consider, consider a strip parallel to x-axis. 
So when we consider a strip parallel to x axis like this, we should write first x varies from x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to and then we should write y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to okay so yes so here the strip is parallel to x axis so that's why i wrote the limits of x first and limits of y later we have a strip like this so our funda is bounded below bounded above and we move strip from bottom to top with the help of this strip we have to cover the entire region so that's why we need to move the strip like this see let me write the equation this is y axis whose equation is x is equal to 0 this is x axis whose equation is y is equal to 0 this is a point we have 0 comma 2 so the strip is bounded below by y axis whose equation is x is equal to 0 the strip is bounded above by the part of parabola getting the strip is bounded above by this part of parabola whose equation is like this but here we supposed to write x is equal to so that's why i'm taking its square root and we will have x is equal to root 4 minus 2i okay now we have to move strip from bottom to top we have to move like this in a vertical direction and we have to cover the region so at the bottom it is bounded by y is equal to 0 and strip, strip will move like this and it should go up to this point to cover each and every corner of the region. So strip will move like this and it will go here where the value of y is 2. So y varies from 0 to 2. So in this way I got the limits. Okay. So now let us solve the integration with the help of this limit. Just make a screenshot of it then I will go further. So let us solve the integration, double integration. What is my function f? 1 upon root 2y minus y square. See the inner integration with respect to x. So that's why dx I should write first. Our strip is parallel to x axis. That's why inner integration with respect to x, outer with respect to y. The limits of x are 0 to root 4 minus 2y. And limits of y are 0 to 2. This is equal to 0 to 2. Inner integration with respect to x. So that's why y and the functions of y are constant. We can take them outside. It will come outside root 2y minus y square. So only x is left. dx is left there. And the integration of dx is x. So that's why I'm writing directly x 0 to root 4 minus 2y dy so this is equal to integration 0 to 2 root 2y minus y square into let us put the upper limit at a place of x so 4 minus 2y and if i put 0 we will get 0 so that's why i'm not writing that thing there integration with respect to y so let me remove this part so we will have some more space to write just a minute huh okay so let us continue here so this is equal to integration 0 to 2. We have to solve this integration. It is looking difficult, but it is not that much difficult. What will I do? I will take y common. See in denominator, we have y at both places. So let us take y common. But see when y will come outside, it will carry that power. That means root. So that's why root y will come outside. If you take y outside, you will have just root 2 there. And here 1y is gone outside. So therefore only y will be there into. So what can we take common here? Here we can take 2 common and it will go outside with that root. So that's why root 2 root. See 2 we have taken outside. So 2 minus y. So tell me can we cancel anything here? Yes, definitely that root 2 minus y will get cancelled. This root 2 is a constant will come outside. 0 to 2 so only 1 upon root y is left there but root means raised to 1 by 2 and if you shift to the numerator it will be minus 1 by 2 so i'm shifting this root see all terms are cancelled this constant has gone outside y raised to 1 by 2 i'm shifting to the numerator so it will be y raised to minus 1 by 2 dy we have to solve this integration and we have a very simple formula 
integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Simply we add 1 in power. I will do the same. So y raised to minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 0 to 2 root 2. See that means y raised to 1 by 2 getting minus 1 by 2 plus 1 1 by 2 0 to 2. So there is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it first, then I will go further. So let us continue. We can definitely finish this problem in this part. So this is equal to root 2. I am putting the upper limit getting. So 2 raised to 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2. And if I put 0, we will have 0. So this is equal to root 2 and 2 raised to 1 by 2 is again root 2 divided by 1 by 2. So root 2 into root 2, 2 divided by 1 by 2. So that 2 is in denominator of denominator will go to the numerator and we will have 2 into 2 which is 4. So this is required answer. Okay. So make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. See you.